Hi there guys, this is Barry from Copper vs Glass and today I'm going to be showing you two applications you can download for your, any Android phone which will bring it without any need for routing or extra skinning to make it look almost like the stock ICS that we've known to come and love. So the first one we're going to look at is the launcher. Now a launcher like I previously did in another video is just an app that will change the visual effects of the home screen and app drawer of your Android phone to make it look different. And I reviewed one previously which was a Go launcher with uh, a skin that made it look ICS. But that was a very complicated process and it just gives you too many options and it can be very overwhelming. So I've got a different one here which is called the Nova Launcher. Now the Nova Launcher is this little app here and it's free from the Android market. You can pay for a version as well but I just use the free version. And essentially it is a very very easy app. You install it and instantly you have pretty much what looks like stock ICS. You can see we've got the standard dot bar down the bottom here. We've got the persistent Google search bar at the top. When we click on it, it brings us to a Google search. And we've also got very nice, very smooth transitions between home pages. And very nice to see in the app drawer, a very, very close to stock ICS, if not undistinguishable app drawer with a very nice transition effect here, which is very smooth as you can see. Now widgets unfortunately will just bring up a pop-up window because you can't, unless you root your device, you can't choose widgets from that menu unless you root the device. We've got some menus up here which will take us to the store, app management and Nova settings. Let's go back to the home page, press the menu button down the bottom, we've got the standard wallpaper, manage apps again, Nova settings and system settings. If we go into the Nova settings, it's really, really simple. There's hardly anything to edit. Um, like I said, you can pretty much install the Nova, the Nova app and you don't really need to change anything. You've got the stock experience straight away. Now, the second thing to make your phone look like the stock ICS experience, of course, is going to be the keyboard because most manufacturers will skin the keyboards along with the rest of the phone to look different from the stock ICS. But I've downloaded a very, very handy and now my favorite keyboard app, which is called SwiftKey. Now SwiftKey 3 is the beta version at the moment. It's not available to the general public yet, but I managed to get hold of one and it's coming up very, very shortly. Now SwiftKey is out at the moment and it allows you to change the look of the keyboard and how it behaves. But the great thing about the newest version of SwiftKey 3, as you can probably see here, is that it comes with skins to make it look very, very much like stock ICS. So let's go to the options, let's go to the settings, and here we've got a few options. Personalization allows you to customize uh, the keyboard and it will learn your typing habits from things like Google, Facebook and Twitter. Now the themes is the really important one because this is what gives SwiftKey 3 the new Hollow theme and Cobalt, which isn't in the current paid for version on the Android market. So when we change to these themes, so this is Cobalt, and you can see it looks very, very nice, very, very sleek. And the thing about this keyboard is that it's very, very intelligent. You can type in a string of words together without inputting a space in between words, and it will do it for you. It allows you to type very, very quickly, and it actually will show you in your settings of SwiftKey typing efficiency if it's gone up and it would even show you a nice little heat map of where you type on the keyboard. So combining SwiftKey 3 Beta and the Nova Launcher together pretty much turns any phone into the stock ice cream sandwich experience with very very little fuss and hassle and it's overall free. You can pay for Nova Launcher, you can pay for SwiftKey but I use the free versions without any difficulties and the paid for versions if you want to support the developers that's great and they give you a few extra features but not always necessary. So this is Nova Launcher and SwiftKey 3 for Android and that's your stock ice cream sandwich experience. This is Barry from Copper vs Glass and I'll see you guys later.